not too far away in the land of Astoria. There lived a young girl named Grace. She was kind and loved taking care of the world around her. Suddenly, a faint speck of light floated down and began to buzz around Grace. Hello, little firefly. Did you come for my birthday? Oh, Elder Ava's gonna be so happy. Let's head back to the village. The firefly shared Grace's excitement. I was also planning to make Elder Ava a fruit punch in secret. Maybe we can find some more berries on the way back, firefly. Juicy one. Good job, Firefly. be perfect. Come on, Firefly. The village is just a bit further down. Whoa. I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Grace. Careful. Grace imagined shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And... Grace knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Nearly there, Firefly. Just one more little slide. Here we go! The old cargo lift, barely used. Her own secret entrance to the village above. Grace couldn't wait to give Elder Ava a hug. She'd be so proud that her firefly came. Look, Firefly! Home! The warm lights and enticing smells of Elder Ava's heart welcomed her. Elder Ava! Happy birthday, Grace! I've made a new friend! One of our sacred fireflies. This is a very special thing indeed. Does this mean...? Yes, it is time. Would you fetch me that box, please? Ava was sure that Grace would rise to the occasion.
Go ahead, open it. This will store all the magic words you find. Some will stay with you, others are fleeting. They will help you overcome any obstacle. Now, your training is complete. Congratulations, new Guardian of the Fireflies. Guardian? But that's you. Guardian in retirement now. You should head to the Shrine Tree for the other Firefly's blessing. I'll join you shortly, dear. Oh, before I forget, a little something of mine to mark the occasion. Elder Ava reached inside her pocket and handed Grace a gift. Ava's favorite pendant. So emerald! Now, off you go. I'm so proud of you, Grace. I can't wait to try out my magic book. And all at once, Grace was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Guardian. That was amazing. The best thing I've seen all morning. Why do we have to be on Grace loved throwing stones oh, over the rooftops, at it. but not today. Look, Grace has the book. Today, the firefly oh, shrine was missed. waiting. Go on. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? Cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. Take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Grace. Happy birthday. No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Grace. But Grace has one. But that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush. About the world that lay beyond. Oh, this thing's always breaking down. I bet kids have been sticking berries in the mechanisms again. Oh, we can't carry this by hand. Then you better get working. Oh, thanks. swayed in the warm breeze, its slats creaked with a gentle familiarity as Grace crossed it.
seen that book for a while, Grace. You off to see the fireflies? Let me get the gate. Ah! Blast! Damn pulleys! Grace couldn't wait to see the fireflies. Soon they bless her as new village guardian. What's being guardian going to be like, Firefly? I hope it's adventurous. Let's swing into adventure. Grace crawled through the dank, dark tunnel. It didn't feel like being hugged at all. bell to announce her arrival. At last, the tree was in sight, home to the fireflies, whose ancient energy kept the village safe from harm. Go on. Show them what you can do. That's it! They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy. That birthed stars. And forged suns. Now she was part of it. And so Grace became the new Firefly Guardian, but her biggest adventure was yet to come. Grace woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. Grace! A giant creature is attacking our village. Attacking? There must be something wrong. Get to the tree at once. Hurry! What creature could have caused this? And suddenly, Grace was surrounded by smoke and cinders. As she hurried past the crackling rooftops, her concern grew. Hey, Grace, you gotta hide. You can hide with us. Broken. The lift. No, there's no space. Uh, okay, why do you all hide in this spot then? 
She looked at her burning treetop village. This was all she knew. This was home. She needed to get to the fireflies. from beyond the village gate. Grace rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. I can do this. Right, Firefly? Right? But she could not deny the creeping terror. The earth yawned below her. as she was. With nobody around to extinguish them, fires burned out of control. Red bell lay silent on the ground. realization dawned on Grace. Fireflies were gone. Oh. 
A new determination rose in her. She would find. The fireflies. Elder Ava! Something took the fireflies. I know. Our people will fall sick without them. Don't give up hope. I'll get the fireflies back. I'll make everyone better. I promise. Go. And may the love of this village guide you. Always. Grace took a deep breath. She knew what she had to do. She was the guardian. She would bring the fireflies back home. The earth could fall away beneath her. But she would not be stopped. This was further than she'd ever been before. And yet it was exhilarating, wondrous, and terrifying. Fear was at her side, and hope in her heart. But things were about to get worse. Much, much worse. Is that a dragon? It's big. But Grace would not slow down. Not for crumbling paths. No one will want to read that ending. Not for giant monsters. She would make it answer to her. No matter what. She would catch the dragon. No, wait! She raced forward. And let. Grace had pursued the dragon far, far from home. The desert spread out before her. Dunes rising and falling like a sea of gold. Timeless and bewildering. A glow in the sand. Another firefly escaped from the dragon's grasp. There was something very unnatural about it. Oh. 
Grace's will would not break that easily. think he is. Look, whoever you are... Go away! I can't! I have to find the... Go away! Okay. See ya. Mr. Grumpy Pants out. The yawning cave burrowed deep into the earth. Home to wondrous life. Easily scared. Covering the unknown, far below the rolling dunes, I wonder what used to be down here? Maybe sand-swimming desert pirates? Or one-eyed troglodytes? I hope not. Interesting. Deep and 
under the desert sands, Grace found... A long, forgotten chamber. Greatness past. The silence of the ages filled the air. Tempered voice drifted down to grace. It didn't listen. I need to find it. Sacred, I said. No one listens to me anymore. Ah, you. You shall go no further. Disarmed the djinn. 
His fury was great. Fortunately, his voice was very, very smooth. <laughs> but the Desert Guardian would not let it rest. Hey! Stop it! Find the dragon. Don't you get that? I... That's it. So long. <laughs> Woo well, we got rid of sulky boots again. Now. What's all this? As she looked around this lonely, desolate place, Grace wondered, why would anyone choose to live here? There had been people here, once upon a time. What happened to them? Who were they? Maybe I'll find answers here. The dome was empty, but for a pool of water. An inviting grace of thoughts drifted to the people that once had lived here. She was sure they must have... Warriors! A distant roar roused Grace from her thoughts. Ancient statues toppled before Grace. Proud warriors. Protectors of their land. Grumpy mumbling could be heard. Perfect. Ugh, him again. Let's move. Mm. 
That's better. I do the magic around here. You go away. The Desert Guardian was frantically looking for Grace. Stop hiding from me. He would surely find her eventually. Wouldn't he? Easy. I know you're there. I want you gone. You hear me? Ah! you so worked up, old windbag? The past? The past? It stays hidden. It must. Oh, the old days. So little left. Best forgotten. Look. Whatever it is you don't want me to see, I'm sure we can... No, 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 no! You cannot go further! Back! How can I get him to listen? Would she break the Jin statue? Or repair it?
I was once worshipped here. It was wonderful. But I grew complacent, arrogant. They warned me that great dangers were coming. And what did you do? Nothing. I believed that there was no danger I could not thwart. I was wrong. Hey, take the price. My being here must have brought back painful memories. That is as it should be. To feel something, even pain, after all this time. For that, I thank you. I don't need your thanks, but I do need to know if you've seen a dragon around here. It has come and gone. But there is something you should know about that beast. What was that? Hold on! Fall softly, my friend. Knowledge will be yours in time. Use it more wisely than I did. Grace hurtled through the darkness. Her helplessness no longer made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated. Angry. She wanted answers. Jin's magic gently released her into the unknown. Why can no one answer a straightforward question? Now where am I? The ground was warm to the touch. At least it's quiet down there. Just my luck. And what's that? Molten stone. She'd seen nothing like this in her forest home. I really miss the folks at the village. hung above, looking decidedly precarious.
got closer. Grace realized she would soon face its maker. The lava gently bubbled, as if to mock her lack of progress.
I don't care. I have to stop her. Inside Grace was a white hot rage. I can't end the story here. Exit. Grace didn't quite know what she'd encountered. Sheesh. She's so angry. The thought stuck with Grace. What's wrong with her, I wonder? Oh, I think I need a breather. A place to rest. Grace was beginning to feel the burn of loneliness. <sighs> Grace's thoughts drifted back to the burning giantess. Why would she be so full of rage? She must have felt alone. Imagine being stuck in a cave all by yourself. I go bonkers too. Grace vowed to be more understanding. If they met again. The light pushed back the darkness. A heaviness lifted from her heart. That was strangely satisfying.
don't care. Grace was adrift on the current. Without control. Lost on the flow of lava. It would take her where it wished. Burning river went faster. And faster. Okay, Grace. Remember, empathy. You! You again! She isn't listening! Run, Grace! Run! Thundering steps shook the earth. you 
they've done. You look! We're trapped and it's all your fault. I hate this place and I hate you! I hate you! Her anger no! consumed itself. Huh? What happened to you? Dunno. Don't feel so angry now. Angry? I know what that's like. To feel angry. As her anger left, it brought a change. You did it again! Lump's anger gone. Lump? Nice to meet you. I'm Grace. Sorry I was so angry. Lump sorry too. Lump scares Lump when Lump's so big. What? Dragon? I'll show you. But first, we need to get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Just then, Grace noticed a boom shroom she hadn't seen before. Gentle sunlight streamed across their faces. Sun! I missed you. Oh, sky fire is warm. Like love! That's the dragon. We've got to follow it. Dragon? Follow it. Let's go, Lump. Lump no likes follow anything that goes. <laughs> Are you coming? Claw things. They're spooky. They're just trees, Lump. Back home, we know has them. The grey forest, dark, foreboding. Grace didn't care. Home, you miss it? Yes, that's why I'm doing this. You miss home, but you leave it. Hmm. You curious human.
had to. The dragon stole our fireflies. I promised I'd get them back. Grace couldn't help but smile at Lump's silliness. Suddenly, a strange sweet scent filled the air. Lump knows is that smell. What is it, Lump? Looks like some kind of fruit. A fruit? <laughs> Yum, yum. Lump love fruit. Mmm, that's nice. Like honey from back home. Wait. I can't let myself be distracted. We need to go. Now! But... But the fruit! Okay. Shadows deepened in the ravaged forest. We're getting closer. Um, do we want to be closer? 
Look, Clump. Dragonfire. It's here. Yes, yes. Dragon here. It's K. Lump to K. Okay. Lump trust, Grace. Us chase dragon. Whee! That's the spirit, Lump. We're near. I can feel it. Yes! <laughs> Um, Grace? Human no fly like lump, yes? A deep rift yawned before them. No, 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 no! We're so close! wasn't meant to happen, but the fruit had an irresistible draw on little Lump. Mmm. No, Lump! Stay here! I need you! Lump's still here. Just busy! Grace felt her resolve melt. I need to find the dragon. I promised Elder Ava. Just what am I doing out here? All by myself? Silly human. Lump not left is in fruit. <laughs> Thanks, Lump. Grace knew she wouldn't swap that little ball of fire for anything. Wow! You okay, Lump? Little dizzy, but good. What a rush. Amazing. <laughs> we is great team. Starting to tickle. This may be better than fruit. There was no doubt. Something strong and very, very large had been here recently. There it is. Dragon's blood? Wow. Great. We seen it. We go now? It goes! See? We go? Yes? Grace pursued the beast with little thought for her own safety. You won't get away from me again! I won't let you! Ah! No! Come back! Come back here! Oh! It's okay! It heard you! What? Far above, the dragon circled and dove, falling fast. Run! As the waters calmed, Grace realized the dragon had gone far, far below. No! I... 
I... Her hope was shattered. I can't. It's okay, human. We find Dragon again. Have another go, right? It's okay. Lump, help! But how? Most of the pieces are gone. I can't even fix it. Look! You get on this, okay? I... I don't even know where I'm going anymore. What am I doing? I'm such an idiot. What did I think I was going to do if I caught it? You tried though, human. That's important. Look! One of them's little glowy things you likes. Things too, right? Huh? That's strange. Maybe there are some people around here after all. Forgotten. Much sad. Maybe Dragon? Clumsy, clumsy. You cold, human? A little, yes. Lump make fireball. You bring wood. Four pieces, yes? Okay. I can do that. What's up, human? It's just... I remember collecting wood for Elder Ava. I hope she's still okay. At least I'm doing something useful, I guess. Hmm, this smells like the trees back home. But is it as good as fruits? Is it? Hoven, is it? Where do you come from, Lump? Don't remember. You don't remember anything? Lump just remember anger. Then you, Hoven.
Okay. That should be enough. Okay. Here lump goes. Ancient energy stirred. Reaching into the place beyond. Ah, oh, it feels good to be back. Already? It's only been a few millennia. Is it not wonderful to see light again? To feel sun? <laughs> I was just getting comfortable in the howling void. Who are you two? Ooh, ancient ones. Thought you was a myth. Oh, no, no, my little friend. We are very real. No, we're not. You're imagining us. Go away now. Now we're here, what can we do to help you? Lump! They could help us get to the dragon. Hmm. But nothing is free in this market, or in life. You must provide three offerings to the flame. Should we... If help human, if it make human happy, Lump say do it! Hello. So lovely to see you both. So, what is this place? The market of the lost and the forgotten. Things end up here that have been cast aside or are no longer useful. After a time, so were we. No one came here. No one sought us. I thought we would forget ourselves, but you brought us back. You said you could help. Yes. But to give, we must also receive. I don't have money. Then give a kindness. I'll tell everyone about you. No one will ever forget you again. How kind of you to say. Now I will return the favor. To get your wish, you must submit an offering of hope to the flames. Something dear to your heart. Elder Ava gave me this. The pendant gleamed with hopeful memories. I don't know if I should. It was the last thing that she gave me. A wise person once said that no one ever got anything just by wanting it. Okay. You're right. A crack and a spark and the pendant was gone in the flames. Go away. I said go away. I need help. And? What do you expect me to do about it? Go away. This is a market, right? You have to help me if I give you something. Look, my help. It's not the kind you need. It isn't? Why? I trade in oblivion. I feast on memories. Oh. But you can still help me. I must find the sacred fireflies and bring them back to my village. Hmm. What memory are you prepared to? Consign to the flames. I 
remember Elder Raver's last hug. No, you don't. Don't what? Don't remember. Never mind, never mind. Look, this bit can go on forever. The offering has been made. Um, thank you, I guess? Two offerings down. One to go, and they'll help me follow the dragon under the lake. Ooh, what next? I don't know. Do you think they'd take another memory? The last offering must keep our fire burning. A gesture of hope, of friendship. But it cannot be given by you. And we've already given you something, so we're out. <laughs> what about love? You have something to give? Sure, I got love. You would give yourself to help your friend? Lum, you don't have to do this. There must be another way. This is important to human. You freed Lump. You gave Lump memories. Lump want to give you something too. I don't know what to say. Thank you, Lump. Lump thanks you too. Thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> I'll miss you, silly little Lump. I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye for us. Hello for you and Dragon. As little Lump jumped into the fire, the flames began to burn, larger and brighter. Grace felt a change come over her. Slits opened in her neck. Gills! She could now breathe underwater. The wish has been granted. Time for us to go. Hope you like your gift. <laughs> Thank you, Mum. I'll never forget what you did. I should go to the lake. Follow the dragon, I guess. The loss of Lump weighed heavily upon her. Where once there was light, was now darkness. Where there was noise, only cold silence remained. But she could not let Lump's sacrifice be in vain. She needed to get to the lake and use her newfound powers to pursue the dragon. The lake looked murky, but she had to brave its depths. The merchants had been true to their offer. Still, the water closing over her felt like death. 
cold and terrifying. I can breathe! This feels so... strange. Wish Lump could have been here. Ugh! I shouldn't have let her do that. But there that. was no time to dwell on her lost friend. Grace had a dragon to find. Which way did it go? This one. All right. Another branching tunnel. The walls were closing in. Down here, I guess. Far too narrow for winged beasts. Did I guess wrong? A dead end. Oh, I knew it! Wrong tunnel! No. There must be a way. Think, Grace, think! I get up there. Ha! Is this the right way? Lump. But Grace had let Lump go. She needed to decide her own path, alone. The submerged tunnels flared outwards, a tangled mess of caverns and hollows, twisting and turning. Bending with almost malicious intent. to get out of here. Fireflies. You 
can do this, Grace. No! Gah! Something's got me! Can't get control! She found herself amidst a great coral bed, shimmering with color and life. Wow! No! I have no matter what. Beautiful, and now... Broken. It grows back, right? Dragon to find. I have to focus on that. No matter what. She spoke those words. But deep in her heart, a seed of chilling doubt took root. gave way to darkness, endless and all-consuming. It's cold here, robbed of sight, the pressure of the deep sea on her chest. Her thoughts had only one way to go, inwards. What am I doing? I let Lump sacrifice herself for me. And for what? I don't even know where the dragon is, or where I am. I'm falling. I'm failing. Elder Ava. The village. Lump. All of them. Huh? What? I need to find the dragon, no matter what. A cold determination gripped her. Numbing all other thoughts. Press forward. Get 
It's the dragon. No matter what. There was just the way forward, barred by an indestructible metal door. No! I need to... need to... find... the dragon. Grace could no longer ignore the seed of doubt. It seeped into her heart, as cold as the water she'd come from. I have... no. I need to find... it. The dragon. No matter what. No matter what. The Seekin seemed... friendly. Hey. Have you seen the dragon? Wait! A host of them greeted her with curious chatter, warm and welcoming. Have you seen the dragon? Please. No? But Grace had no time for this. Let me through! The words felt hollow and meaningless. Freezing cold blanketed Grace. There was comfort in its numbing embrace. She wished she could stay. Did I do this? She did this. Is this my fault? It was her fault. Their home. I... I destroyed it. A seekin, encased in ice. Oh no! What have I done? I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I never wanted this. I didn't know. I should never have come. What would Elder Ava think of me? I'm so selfish! Guilt dogged her every step.
It would not rest. Guilt dogged her every step. Did you make me do this? It would not leave her. It would not cease. Leave me alone! Must get away. I have to move. Please, I didn't know. I didn't know. The creature looked at her, as if it could see into her very soul. Under its stare, her fears crystallized like ice. She knew that she would... disappear. You will make me disappear into nothingness. I can't let that happen. Would Grace embrace her guilt? Or run from it? You win. I can't run anymore. Do what you will. My head. A grey void surrounded her, swallowing sound and hope. Hello? Grace guessed that if she kept moving, then surely a solution would present itself. Is someone here? Anyone? In the emptiness around her, she found... A hut? A palace? Hope? I... I don't know what comes next. It's so cold here. So empty. Just... nothingness. I can't find... can't find the words. I'm never going to find the dragon. Or the fireflies. They won't come. The words just won't come anymore. I don't know where I am, how to get out, or even where I'm going. Pointless. What kind of writer can't find the words? I messed everything up. Let's try this again. Grace awoke under an old tree in an unfamiliar land. I don't know do this anymore. She walked boldly ahead. A spring in her step. I'm so tired. Grace knew she just had to keep going. What's the point? Put one foot in front of the other. I've failed. It's over. Whilst she still had breath left in her body, there was still hope. This is all, all my, my fault. fault. I, should I should just, just stop. stop.
Hey, Grace. Leave me. Just leave me. Psst, here. Where? I don't see a thing. I'm right here. Always was, always will be. I don't understand. And I don't care. You don't? No. Just leave. I'm meant to be alone. Forever alone and useless. You know I'm right below you. I'm not good company right now. You don't need to be. Why don't you tell me how you came to be here? I... It sounds silly when I say it now. I lost a dragon. And now... I just don't know what to do next. But at some point you knew, right? You had purpose, hope. Yes. I knew exactly what I needed to do. I had to stop the dragon. Return the fireflies. Save the village. And you couldn't do those things? I tried. But I just ended up doing everything wrong. Everything? Are you sure about that? Well... Think back. Okay. Maybe not everything. Go on. I didn't deliberately freeze everyone in the Undersea Kingdom. Well then, that's something. I like listening to you. Would you continue? You do? Oh. Well, okay. It's just... I'm just so confused right now. What were you trying to do before you got here? I was trying to find a dragon. It destroyed everything I loved. I need to get the fireflies back. They'll restore my village. But I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. What did you do last time? Last time I what? Found a dragon. What? I've never found one before. Then how can you expect to know exactly what to do? I guess I can't. But I want to. No one ever got anything just by wanting it. You've got to try. You've got to fail sometimes. I wish I had your confidence. to ask you. Go on. It's... it's difficult. 
I'll wait. I don't know where I am, or even who I am. I'm lost. Could you help me become a little, uh, unlost? I don't think that is a word. That's not entirely helpful. You seem to think that it's wrong to be lost. Well, isn't it? Everyone feels a little lost sometimes, even me. You do? Really? I don't mind it, actually. Do you? Well... Yes. I usually know what to do. And where to go. So, if someone else were lost, what would you tell them to do? Hmm... I'd tell them not to give up and find help. How about taking your own advice? I guess it's easier to give advice than take it. Could you get me someplace else? Let me see if I can help you out there. Patience. I want to know one more thing. You sound a lot better. I do? I guess I feel better. Well then, time to set course. It's nice of you to listen to me. Any time. So, anything else? the strength to go on. That's okay. It's not. People are relying on me. But you're still human. You still tire. We all do. I guess I hoped it wouldn't take this long. I'm tired. Tired of trying. Tired of failing. Tired of everything. You need a rest. But I can't! I don't have time! Why? My village is depending on me to get the fireflies back. That sounds like quite a tiring thing to do. Well... Yes. Want to take a rest together? That sounds... This is where I leave. But... I... You're not alone. You are loved. Be kind to yourself.
do this? Yes. Be your own light in the darkness. I'll try. Thank you. Here we go. Again. myself. I know you'll always be there. Maybe that's okay. You're part of this adventure. Part of me. Thank you. Now. I will return the fireflies. With her confidence renewed, a newfound power coursed through her. She felt that she could touch the sky. A tall tower loomed overhead. Many moons had shone above since first it was built. Another obstacle? Ha!
After what I've been through, you really think that will stop me? A lone figure stood, unbowed, defiant. It drew her to it. Her foe rose before her. No breath in its body, but no less terrifying.
nothing's moving. Must be more to do. A gust of fresh air rewarded Grace's efforts. As she rose up the stairs, Grace knew this time but bone a good idea. It was a great idea! world darkened around Grace. She had reached the Dragon's Mountain. For the first time, Grace felt no fear. She knew she had all she needed. Before her, a molten sea stretched into the distance. It did not slow her down. I laugh in the face of lava.
Suddenly, Grace no longer felt the heat. In its stead, a cold dread crept up her spine. like my village but it can't be it's a trick it has to be an eerily familiar sight awaited her that's my house how elder Ava no wait come back oh no 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 Only emptiness remained. Her thoughts raced ahead of her. She gripped the chain with furious determination. I know you're there! Roar all you like! It won't stop me! between rage and regret. Grace pushed ever upwards.
but even through adversity within and without her determination shone bright she had grown Almost there. Chilling winds shook her to the bone. Still she climbed. this. Glad we're on the same page. Every stride pushing against storm and snow. Defiant, unwavering. One step after the other. That's Bow. That's where I last saw. I never should have let you stay behind. Lump, see how far you come. You grown big. Lump did right thing. Don't go. Have to, Grace. But we'll always be there in the memory. I'll make sure to keep you there. Goodbye, little lump.
Hello, dragon. Here I come. Finally. Grace readied herself for a confrontation. Right. This is it. Uh, hello. Bit of an anticlimax. When she first set out, Grace wanted to return the sacred fireflies to their rightful home. But now she realized that, regardless of how her adventure ended, the journey had forever changed her. Standing there, she felt... Battle ready. She had the fortitude to face whatever battles lay ahead. The words were at her command. She was powerful. She was ready. Come out! I am ready to face you in combat. Fireflies. Why? They were in my way. They are with me now, and I won't let you harm them. You cannot win this battle. Be gone! Make me disappear. I am the Unmaker, the Ender of World. Not this one. All things must come to an end. Your friends, your family, you. In time, even dragons fade. Ponder this elsewhere. Not if I can help it. One person can make a difference. I know that now. You have been reading the wrong stories, little one. Sometimes things just... end. going to have to go through me. Yes. That's what I've been trying to do. You've never met resistance before, have you? You can't hurt me, and I can't hurt you. And what is your solution, little one? I'm not sure. Ma Very well. You may ask me one question. Make this one count, Grace. Astoria. It's already dying, isn't it? 
It is fading into the void. It is burning into nothingness. Why? Why is this happening? It is time. No more, no less. Can it be stopped? No. It is inevitable. The wheel turns. The cycle continues. You have had your one question. I have work to do. Please! I've overcome so much to get here. I've had to face what I am. And it was a struggle. And I... I think it always will be. I envy your fight. It can be yours, too! <clears throat> you can change things! No! What? What? I did not aim for you. Some things are not to be changed. Not to be... I can't. You can. You will. Learn to dream. Again. What happened? It's all gone, I'm afraid. It can't be just gone. Why couldn't I do anything? Why couldn't I save it? There was everything has a time to go. Even worlds. But I don't want that. I feel like a failure. <laughs> That's silly. You didn't fail because you couldn't win. I couldn't. The. I even started. You recovered the fireflies. Eight. Between you, them, and your book, <laughs> you'll work it out. You... 
You didn't make it. You knew, didn't you? That you wouldn't? That's where the Firefly came to me. They knew too. So, these are my memories of you. Let's see what adventures lie ahead. 